Welcome to Chapter 1, Lesson 6, titled Scientific Notation. The first thing we're going to start off with is some new vocabulary. Scientific notation. Scientific notation is described as a product of a number times 10, and the 10 carries the exponent. Now, without a visual example, that might be difficult to think about. So let me give you an example of a number written in scientific notation. An example could be 6.45 times 10 to the 6th power. Now, with that, we have our pieces. In the definition, it says a product. Well, we're multiplying. It says a number. In this case, that is the 6.45. We have the times 10, and the 10 carries the exponent, which in this case is the 6. Now, there's a part here I did not read. It says mandatory, meaning this has to be one of the steps you follow, is that the number has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Now, let's look at the number 6.45. Can we agree that... 6.45 is greater than or equal to 1. And can we agree that 6.45 is less than 10? Since these are both, in fact, true, our number is in scientific notation. Take a moment, pause the video if you need to, to copy down the definition before moving on to the next part. Let's talk about one of the two processes you're going to do in this lesson. First, we're going to take a number in scientific notation and write it in what we call standard form. To make it easier to understand, standard form, you could think of it as just a normal number you would see anywhere that you looked. It would no longer have the times 10 to the fourth. Let's look at how. First, the exponent tells you how many times to move the decimal and which direction. Two, positive means to go right, negative means to go left. And three, any empty spaces mean you need to put a zero in it. Using those three steps, let's break down number one and see about rewriting it in standard form. First, let's look at the exponent. It's four, so I need to move four spaces. And that 4 is positive. That means I need to move it to the right. In order to do so, I'm going to take 5.34. I'm going to grab my decimal and move it. 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces to the right. And I have these two blank spots. I'm going to place a zero in those two blank spots. This gives me a new number and the standard form, which is 53,400. So 
So all we're doing is we're looking at the exponent, deciding if it's positive or negative, and then moving that many spaces in the appropriate direction. Let's look at the second example. My exponent is a negative three, which means I'm going to move three spaces in the negative direction. In this case, that means I am moving it to the left. So three point two seven. I'm going to grab my decimal and move it one, two, three spaces to the left. And I have to fill in these spaces with zeros, giving me a new number in standard form, which is zero point zero zero three two seven. So scientific notation will allow us to take a large number, as we see with the 53,400, and write it as a smaller number in order to sometimes make it easier to do some operations. We'll move into doing operations with scientific notation next, but now let's look at examples on how can I take a number in standard form and write it in scientific notation. So now we're going to start with numbers in the standard form. In order to write the number in scientific notation, I have a few steps. First things first, I need to move the decimal to a new location such that I have a number that is both greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Typically that means I want to move the decimal so that I have exactly one digit in front of it. Let's do this with the first one right now. First, we need to remember that the decimal starts at the end of the number. And I'm going to move it to where there is just a number that is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. I'm going to move it right behind this 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to write that number 3.725. I'm going to go ahead and now write times 10. And I need to decide about my exponent. The exponent is based on how many times the decimal is moved. Well, we moved the decimal one, two, three, four, five, six times. So I'm going to go ahead and write a six there. And the next thing we have to decide is, was our original number greater than one? Well, 3,725,000 is definitely greater than one. Therefore, my exponent is positive. So this is my answer. This is how you write that number in scientific notation. Let's take a look at another example. This time, I'm dealing with a number that is significantly less than 1. And I still want to move the decimal so that it has a number that is greater than or equal to 1, and less than 10. To do that, I'm going to move the decimal 
into this spot, giving me the number 3.57. That number is both greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. I would move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 times to its new location giving me 3.57. I need to do step two and write my times 10. And now I need to write my exponent. We moved the exponent four spaces. Now I need to look at in which direction did I move it. We already said our original number was less than one, so my exponent needs to be a negative. So this is now a negative four. If you have any <laughs> questions about any of these steps, go back and rewatch the video up to this point. On the next slide, we're going to look at some extra practice problems. These are problems I would like you to copy down and attempt on your own before starting the video and seeing the solutions. So at this time, pause the video and write these four questions into your notebook. What you're asked to do is to rewrite the number into the other form. Meaning for A and B, those are written in scientific notation. So I want you to write them in standard form. For C and D, those numbers are in the standard form. So I want you to re -re rewrite them into scientific notation. Pause the video, then come back and check out the solutions. Here are your four solutions. 